Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am obviously doing a Valentine's Day look, but I'm not just doing one Valentine's Day look, I'm doing two. I am doing a dramatic one, which is on my face right now, and then I am going to be doing an easier, um, more natural one, because I know a lot of people don't like to go out on dates Valentine's Day having a hot pink cut crease on their eye. So for my first look, I went ahead and did more high-end and luxury products as well as a little bit trickier of an eye look. And then after that, I'm going to be using more drugstore products and doing an easier eye look for people who don't have high-end products. There are really good drugstore products out there, and so today I'll be showing you some of those. Before we get started, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well as turn on my post notifications. This is my second video this week, so usually I try to upload once a week, but sometimes school and life can get in the way, but I am uploading twice this week to make up for the fact that I skipped two weeks. Yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoy this video, and if you want to see how I completed this look as well as a more natural Valentine's Day look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to start with the dramatic eye look because I know it's going to take me longer. And I know most of you are watching this to find the natural look, so looks like you have to watch the whole video. For this look, I think I'm going to be using my James Charles palette. What a surprise. So this first look is inspired by Tefidol. I'll insert a picture up here. I'm not going to do the little hearts in the middle because one, I don't have... The product to do that and two I don't even think I could. Okay, so first gonna start out by priming my eyelids as always um, using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to do this. Right, I'm just gonna blend that out with a beauty sponge. I cut these little pieces of my hair and it looks a lot cuter now but at the same time they're always like down on my face. Okay guys so for some reason in this clip my words don't match up with the movement of my mouth. I'm not sure what happened, but the next five minutes of the video is going to be like this. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to start this look with the shade You're Kidding, which is the beautiful red shade in the James Charles palette on a Morphe M441 brush. And this look is a cut crease, so I am just going to take this the top of my crease right here. And I'm starting with my eyes today because I have a feeling this might have a lot of fallout so if I were to do my face first I'd probably end up with a lot of red and pink under my eyes and that's not what we're going for. Just lightly buffing this shade in my crease and winging it out. Okay so once you have that done I'm taking the same exact brush and dipping that into the shade Love That which is this beautiful violet shade and I'm taking that right above the red and just blending those two together. And really make sure you're spending your time blending these colors together because um, this palette does have a lot of pressed pigments which are harder to blend. So just make sure you're really taking your time, especially if you don't have like a regular eyeshadow base. It's definitely important to take your time. Okay, so once you have those two shades blended together, I'm taking a Morphe E27 brush and taking the shade Pinkity Drinkity, which is this light pastel pink right next to Love That. And I am going to blend these two together. Okay, I lied. I'm actually going to take a smaller brush. Yeah, I'm actually going to take a Morphe M456 brush and take that shade right underneath the brow bone with it. And then I'm going back in with the Morphe M441 brush and just going back into Love That. I'm blending it out. Once you have those shades blended together, this is where we're going to cut our crease. So to cut our crease, I'm using a Morphe 124 brush, and I am again just taking the shape tape on that brush right, right on top of her lid and wings it all the way out. So this is a full cut crease. I'm just starting by outlining it right where my lid and my crease meet. If you don't do it perfectly, it's okay. You can always go back with shadow and buff it out so it doesn't look as messy as I'm doing it right now. I'm taking a Morphe M166 brush. I'm gonna take the shade Canvas and just basically set the concealer. 
Okay, so then I am taking a very small detail brush. I'm taking a Morphe M506 brush and going back in with the shade You're Kidding. I'm basically just fixing this cut crease and adding more detail to the, the line underneath. Once your crease is finally set and you've gone back with that darker shade and outlined the wing, I'm taking that light pink shade and I'm actually going to take the same exact brush we used to apply it on our brow bone and I'm then going to pack that right on top of the lid where we placed canvas. So in the picture she it looks like she has like winged liner but with like a pretty red shadow. So I actually am going to go into a different palette for the um, winged red part. I'm going to be taking the Morphe 39A palette, it's the Dare to Create, and I'm going to be taking the pretty red sparkly shade on the Morphe M158 brush. Yeah, I'm basically just acting as if I was drawing winged liner. So starting by drawing a very thin line on my waterline. Uh, in her picture, she does not wing it out nearly as much as I do. You know, I live for a dramatic wing. Yeah, so then I'm just going to go ahead and color in the outline part. Make sure your brush is wet. Spray it with like rose water or setting spray, whatever. Um, the glitter is not going to show up well if it's not wet. Now, I do want this wing to kind of stand out, so I'm going to thicken it up just a little bit. Since our shadow is not as red as the glitter we just put on our eyes, I am going to go over that shade with the shade Literally from the James Charles palette. Just to, um, the shade Literally is a little bit more pink, so it'll kind of tone down that deep red. And I'm also going over that shade with the shade Ring Light, which is this pretty champagne color. It's just going to bring a little bit more shine to the liner. Then once your red wing is done, I'm just taking a makeup wipe and going underneath and getting any excess makeup off. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye off camera and then I'll go ahead and do the rest of my face and my lashes. This eye came out 10 million times better than the one I just filmed. So for foundation, I'm using, um, you know, my favorite, Laura Mercier. Oh, I need to prime my face. Just going to prime my face with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Now I'm going to be taking foundation. I'm trying so hard not to like mess up this wing right here. I swear, like on camera, this foundation like doesn't look as good as it does in person. In my last video, I don't know if it was just the lighting or what, but um, my face looked so pale. I swear this foundation matches my skin. I swear. If anything, it's like too dark for me. So then for concealer, um, you guys already know, Tarte Shape Tape, best concealer out there, full coverage, love it. Going right underneath my eyes, taking that right in the middle of my forehead. I've been breaking out so bad lately, and I have no idea why. I've been on top of my skincare routine, like, I don't know, I think I'm just stressed. This past week was, well yeah, this past week and the week before that were literally the most stressful and busy weeks of my life. That's why it took me two weeks to upload a new video. Just counting down the days until spring break. I think it's like 23. I'm going to Disney World. Okay, to set our face, I'm using Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, of course. You guys can already tell that I don't switch up my products a lot. I mean, one, if you find something you love, then like, why switch? Two, I'm broke. Someone, please add me to your PR list. So I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I'm taking that on a Morphe R7 brush. It's just this giant fluffy brush. And first I'm just gonna do an overall bra an overall bronzing on my entire face, and then I'll go back in with a different brush and a different shade. So to really contour my cheekbones, I'm taking a Morphe E48 brush. It's this small tapered brush. Well, I mean, it's like a medium sized brush, it's not small. And I'm taking a the darker shade in my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. Um, if you can't tell, 
really need a new one. You can't even tell what shade I'm using. Well, yeah, so going on the underside of my cheekbones with that darker shade um, really make sure that it's still blended together. You definitely don't want a dark brown line right underneath your cheekbones. Just taking light back to back motions. Okay, and then I'm going with that same shade on the temples of my forehead, going in light circular motions, I'm bringing that downwards towards my cheekbones and also up, going right underneath my chin very lightly. So for blush, I'm taking the same palette that I always use, but I'm going to use a different shade today. I'm going to be using Goals from the Morphe 8W blush set. I'm taking that on a Morphe E4 brush and dragging this across the apples of my cheekbones. That one's kind of light, so I'm going to mix that with Provocative. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and bake underneath my cheekbones. So I'm just taking setting powder on the flat end of my Morphe sponge. I'm going underneath my cheekbones and I'm just going to let this sit while I finish out my eyes. I went ahead and applied a very thin line of eyeliner and I'm going to be putting my lashes on and for today I am going to be using Lily Lashes in Miami. I really wanted the Valentine's Day Lily Lashes but by the time I found out about them they were already sold out. I really need a new pair. These ones are rusted, dusted, busted, and crusted. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those eyelashes off camera and I'll be right back lashes are on so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up our eyes I'm gonna be taking a morphe m506 brush I'm gonna be taking the shade love that and then dragging that along my lower lash line and then I'm taking that very small detailed brush the morphe m431 and taking the shade literally and going right over that shade and I'm going to go ahead and Go back with that original red shade that we used to do the wing and the same brush that we used it. And I'm going to go ahead and start it kind of closer to my lower lash line and bring it up so it looks like the two are connected. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. And so then I'm taking a brush very similar to the Morphe M431 brush. It's just the it's just an Urban Decay brush, but I just wanted a clean tip. And I'm going to be taking the shade so good, it's just this gold glitter shade. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner with this shade. Now that our eyes are done, we can go ahead and dust off this bake. So for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candy. Candy K. You just gonna line my lips. So for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and give my face a quick spritz beforehand. Oh, and I'm using a Morphe M501 brush to do this. Okay guys, that is it for our dramatic Valentine's Day look. So next up, I'm going to be doing a much simpler um, not as crazy one and I'm going to be using a lot more drugstore products so if you guys are interested in that then keep on watching. Okay guys so my eyelids are already primed you already know the deal so for this eye look I am going to probably be switching between these two Morphe palettes this is the 35M and the 35V. I don't have any drugstore palettes sadly but Morphe palettes aren't expensive so this is going to be a little bit darker it's going to be a little bit more of like a dark cranberry look similar to what I did in my first video, but it's going to be easier and not as crazy. So first I'm going in with this shade from the 35M palette and I'm taking a Makeup Shack T58 brush and I'm basically just going to pack this um, more on the outer corner of my eye and into the crease. This look also isn't going to be winged like the last one, it's definitely going to be more of a rounder eye uh, shape. Then I'm taking a Morphe E27 brush. I'm going to do circular motions on the outsides and I'm going to dip that brush into that shade just a little bit to darken the outer corner up. So then on a Morphe M401 brush I am taking this bottom shade right here. It's a little bit of a rosier pink and I am going to be taking this right above this shade on the upper part of my crease and just side to side motions blending those together. 
So I'm then taking a Morphe M433 brush. I'm going with the 35V palette now and taking this shade right here. It's a little bit darker. I'm taking this on the outer part of my eye. We really want this outer part to be deep and dark because we are going to be putting a bright glitter shade on the inner part. So in order for that to really stand out, we really need to deepen out this outer corner. Just make sure to go back with your original brushes and continue to blend all those shades together. So then I'm taking the shade right under that. I'm taking that on a Morphe M456 brush. It's um, basically the same shape, just a little bit smaller. And again, just taking this darker shade and just continuing to deepen up that outer corner. So we are going to do a cut crease, but it's going to be a very small one. It's not going to be anything crazy. I'm taking a Morphe M124 brush. You guys know this is the brush I always use to cut my crease. I'm just taking a little bit of concealer on it. And I'm going, and I'm only cutting the inner quarter of my eye. So I'm just packing the concealer all on the inner corner of my eye. And this doesn't need to be like super sharp like the last one. If your shadows blend more with the concealer rather than it just being a sharp line, that's perfectly fine. I just almost went to like cut my crease on my other eye. I don't even have any shadow on it. Okay, so with a clean Morphe M124 brush, I'm going to go ahead and spray that. And I'm going to be taking this pretty... So I'm going to be doing like a kind of transition with the glitter. Um, I'm going to have a lighter pink out here as it gets into a darker pink and it can gradually blend into that dark part of our outer corner. So I'm going to be starting with this shade right here. And I'm just taking that on that brush and packing that right on my inner corner. And so basically just moving along the palette, I'm going this way. So next I'm taking this shade on the same exact brush and moving that further in on my eye. And then next, taking this deeper cranberry shade right here. Oh my gosh, guys. So my camera just died in the middle of me filming. And I don't, I, my camera's like ancient, like I don't have a charger for it, like it goes off of regular like AA batteries. And I didn't have any more, and I only have this one eye done, so I just put on this giant pair of sunglasses and went to my school's little convenience store looking real crazy and got some new batteries, but now we're back, now we can finish. I am going back with that darkest cranberry shade that we were just using. Um, with the small Morphe M456 brush. I'm blending these two shades together and I'm just really darkening the outer corner. I'm also going back with that Morphe 441 brush and the crease shade and blending those together as well. So yeah, not that difficult. Um, just really make sure that you're blending all the colors together even though they are all very similar shades of pink. If you don't blend them together, it's just not going to look right. And for this look, I am going to be doing winged liner. You don't have to do winged eyeliner if you don't want to. So for this, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Liquid Eyeliner. And so when I do my winged eyeliner, I always just start by making a thin line across the top of my eyelid. I always had a lot of trouble doing winged eyeliner when I first started makeup. This really takes practice and practice to learn how to actually make it look good for your eye. Because, um... Winged eyeliner is definitely not for everybody. I always start by going on the very corner of my eye and just drawing a slightly diagonal line. Not too far. I'd say to about there. And then what I do, I take, I go to the point of that line and I just go straight back in towards my eye. So I may have just um, not talked about anything I just did. So. Basically, I just drew a line from the corner of my eye out, went back on that point and brought it back in and colored in. And then I'm just thickening up that line and connecting the two points together. Yeah, so nothing too crazy, just a small little wing. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and take a break from the eyes for now and go ahead and do our face. So for my foundation, I am taking the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is in the shade 230. Um, this is pretty tan. 
Not gonna lie. Keep forgetting to prime. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This isn't a drugstore primer, but it is less expensive than the $50 Tatcha primer, which I used for my last look. And I think it does the job pretty well. So this is my favorite drugstore foundation. Um, it's I'd say it's medium coverage. It's um, not matte. It's definitely more dewy. But um, I prefer a more dewy foundation than matte. Matte foundations just, especially matte full coverage foundations, just dry my skin out way too much. Alright, I'm not even gonna lie guys, our eyebrows, well, <laughs> my eyebrows are looking crazy. But that's because I did them this morning and I just didn't feel like fixing them. So next up concealer, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Now, I am literally completely out of this, like, I really got to dig in, this might take a while. To set our face, I am going to be using the same powder that I used before, the Laura Mercier loose setting powder. When it comes to setting powder, I definitely think um, it is worth the money that it costs. Most setting powders give you flashback, and this is the, one of the few that don't. And it works extremely well, and um, it lasts a long time, and I just really think that when it comes to the setting powder, it's definitely worth the money. For bronzer, I am taking the Physician's Formula Bronzer Booster. I love this bronzer. It does the job. It has a little bit of a sparkle to it, which I don't usually... Um, use face products that have sparkles in it, but it's nothing bad. I would say definitely more of a summertime bronzer, but um, and it looks good. Alright, and for blush, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Blush, if you guys can't tell who my favorite drugstore brand is. Should be obvious by now. Okay, and you guys already know the deal. I'm gonna cut underneath our cheekbones as always. So now I am going to go ahead and apply lashes and finish up my eyeshadow. Now for this look you don't need to wear eyelashes, you can always just wear mascara, but I'm going to be using drugstore lashes. Okay, our lashes are on and we're gonna go ahead and finish up our eyes now. I am taking a small detailed brush, Morphe M506 brush, and I am taking that deepest burgundy shade that we used on the outer corner of our eye and dragging that along my lower lash line. Alright, and then I'm going back with that Urban Decay brush with the small side, and I'm going to take this shade right here and highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and dust off this bag now. If you buy any of the products that I have mentioned in this video, let it be this one. The Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter is one of the best highlighters I've ever used. And it's drugstore. I know it's no more than $10 and it smells amazing. I'm gonna be taking the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte Lipstick. So that is it for today's looks. I hope you guys enjoyed both of these Valentine's Day looks. Um, this just goes to show that even if you don't have expensive high-end products, you can still look amazing no matter what. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I will be sitting at home, probably doing homework. But yeah, so if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well as turn on my post notifications. You can also go ahead and follow all of my social media, which I will have linked down below. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next week. Bye!